Professor Dave and Chegg here. Together we have examined a lot of different types of problems regarding acid-base chemistry. We've looked at strong acids and bases, as well as weak acids and bases, and we have discussed some different types of questions we may want to ask that pertain to these systems. Because this is such a prevalent type of problem, it will be worth our time to discuss some strategies for approaching these. So let's dig into that now. There are many things we may ask about an acidic or basic solution. We may want to know the pH or the pOH. We also may want to calculate a particular equilibrium concentration. But no matter what the problem is, there are some questions we will want to ask so that we know how to set up the problem. This systematic approach will help us identify the best course of action so that we don't have to memorize many different problem types. Number one, what major species are present and what is their chemical behavior? In other words, do we have a strong acid, strong base, weak acid, weak base, or salt, and how should we expect it to behave? If a strong acid or base, it will completely ionize, producing either hydronium or hydroxide in the same concentration as the acid or base. If a weak acid or base, it will only partially ionize, and we will have to do some equilibrium calculations. This is what is meant by asking whether we can assume that a reaction goes to completion. This is the difference between a strong acid or base and a weak acid or base. If looking at a salt, what can we say about the cation and anion? Might either of them behave as an acid or base? If so, what is the equilibrium that describes their behavior? And are we producing hydronium or hydroxide as a result? By breaking down substances to see what truly is in solution, we are more likely to see what kind of calculation must take place. Then finally, we have to ask which equilibrium dominates the solution. If we have a weak acid or base, there is a forward and reverse reaction. Which one dominates the solution? If we have a polyprotic acid, there are multiple successive ionizations, each of which has its own associated equilibrium. Which of these dominates the solution? Is it exclusively the first ionization, or do subsequent ionizations matter in terms of any relevant calculations? If we have a salt consisting of an acidic cation and a basic anion, there will be two competing equilibria. Which of these will dominate? How do we use the relevant Ka and Kb values to determine this? No matter what the situation, these are the important questions. What is there in solution, and what will it do? Once we determine these things, it is usually just a matter of doing some equilibrium calculations, potentially using an icebox to arrive at whatever information we wish to get. Simply let the problem guide your inquiry and be patient as you search for the answer. Professor Dave Furchegg, see you next time.